Hey guys, it's Dylan here. So I just filmed the entire video and I just want to say before the video actually starts that every single sound except for like, I think the, the clap or something, I forget, is all with uh, Cody's new kit. I will leave his kit down in the description below if you guys want to go support him. He's really fire. He makes great beats. Um, yeah, I just wanted to shout him out before the video starts. And also, I am also making my own loop kit uh, very soon. And it's going to have collabs with, you know, Dinox and Nick Mira and uh, Tion the Beat, who I've actually made a lot of stuff with. We're actually in a producer collective called Cloud9. It's pretty cool. <laughs> So yeah, I just want to give a, sh a few shout outs and a few updates before the video. Uh, let's just get started. Yo, what's good everybody? My name is Dylan and today I'm going to be cooking up a beat for you guys. Um, this is going to be completely uh, scratch. It's not going to be like me using somebody's melody like it usually is. Because um, I'm trying to work on my melody game a little bit. And I just think it would be a, a lot more fun if I did it you know by myself so uh we're gonna go ahead and get cooking here uh let's just go ahead and go in here so first off uh one of my go-to uh vsts is uh where is it zebralette this will save your life as a producer this is a really good free vst <laughs> So let's see here. First off, I'm just going to start off by making some chords. Just going to make it saucy here. We're going to duplicate this and then put this up here. Next, we're going to add a bass layer. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add another zebra let and we're going to make this one a little bit more of a clicky sound. And we're just going to kind of make a bass melody here. Super simple, not super crazy, but just something to work with. track like this and we're going to solo it so first what I always do is I always add something called uh, RC20 which is retro color uh, a lot of like literally every single producer uses this and it drives me nuts, but it is really good at what it does. So we're going to turn off the noise, we're going to turn off the wobble, the distort, we're going to add space. Another cool thing that I usually do is I add gross feet. I don't know where it is right here. Let's see. Gross feet. Where are you? Here we go. I got it. So 
Grosspeed, yet another plugin that literally every single producer uses if you have FL Studio. But we're gonna do it half speed. Because without growth speed, it sounds like this. Perfect. So, next we're going to add one more zebra let, and we're going to copy the chords from the... Uh, the chord part here not not the bass notes just the regular chords and we are going to paste those in there and we're gonna find a good So now we're going to do this. Boom, we have our little pattern here, so now we're going to split it by channel. Alright, now it's time to go and get drums. So, I'm going to go to the Cody Go To 2023 kit because it's got some crazy stuff. Let's see, first we're gonna start off with hi hats. Uh, let's see, new pattern. We're gonna go with this hi hat. We're just gonna make it a two step for now. So we're going to go into this one for the kick. I 
now for the 808, I'm going to go and get the base notes. And then we're just going to do this. Splitting by channel. Here we go. So now it's time to arrange the beat and then we're done. So, what I'm going to have for an intro is. will come along and then we'll bring this in and then this will be the hook so the hook is typically four bars so there we go no it's eight bars that's right whatever same thing so next what we're going to do is we're going to take out everything that's not the 808 for the first two bars <laughs> I took it out for the four instead of the two. So now I just got to do this. Tags. Let's see, where are my tags at? Tags. Here we go. sound that I put in every single beat. I gotta go and put it on time though. So that's gotta hit right here. Now it's time to mix everything, so let's see here. Um, let's see all. What is this? All right, so that's the hi hat. Let's see, this goes here. This goes here. This is the kick. 
this is the open hat. And this is the 808. All right, guys. So this was my like quick cook up. I just wanted to show you guys kind of how I make beats and kind of make one from scratch. I will be working on this and posting it at some point. But yeah, so this was like maybe 10 minutes of my time. If I actually tried, I can make a really good beat, but I just kind of want to show you guys my process. Um, yeah, so this is what I came up with, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll let it play you guys out.